you kept showing a lot of emotion out there. What did this one mean to you guys to go out and win? Uh, it meant a lot to us, especially um, coming off the loss from last year. And uh, it was just a lot of emotion uh, bottled up inside that we had uh, for the last two days in practice and the showdown on the court. I mean, we, for us to be so young, I'm glad how we uh, kept ourselves poised, especially um, towards the end of the game. Kevin, all the talk coming into the game was how good Marshall was rebounding the basketball. I think they lost that battle today. What was the secret of the boys? Uh, no secret. Just um, just go fashion boxing out and uh, just just uh, make sure you keep them on your back so the only way they can get it is to go over your back. And uh, that I think everybody did a pretty good job of five-man box out because they sent all five to the glass. So uh, we did a good job of boxing everybody on making sure we secured the rebounds. Did you try to change your game any without Dennis in the game? Uh, no, I just wanted to keep on doing um, what, what, I'm, uh, what I normally do. Uh, just just uh, mix it in, mix in some post with uh, some outside shooting. And uh, my shots were falling a little bit in the first half, but they really started falling in the second half um, once we started running offense and uh, getting into our stuff. And like I, um, like I said, that's when we had our best when we passed the ball around. KJ, what does it feel like to totally take over a game like that? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it alone, and uh, I mean, it's just a total team effort. Uh, we, we just were able to get it done. Uh, like I said, we knew it was, um, what happened last year um, with the big lead they had, and uh, we just didn't want that same feeling. So um, all five of us uh, out there on the court just made a commitment to go out and guard. You know, you're doing that rebound. Thing. I mean, you knew what the advantage, their advantage was coming in. Losing Dennis, did it feel like it was putting you guys behind the eight ball as you're preparing for the uh, season? I mean, as as good of a player as Dennis is and a good rebounder he, as he is, uh, I wasn't really worried because I know um, our other two guys, our other two bigs that stepped up, um, Nor Kevin Noreen and, Dom and Dominique. I knew that they were ready to play, so uh, I wasn't really as worried. I mean, of course, we, we could always use Dennis as a uh, low post scoring and everything, the presence he brings, but uh, I think those guys did a um, good job as a pair to come in and uh, take over the absence. Well, you seem to be talk talking out there a, a lot more than usual, KJ. You were really uh, more emotional than usual. Yeah, just, it's just emotional. Like I said, just a lot of emotions um, bottled up inside that we had from last year that uh, just kind of never went away, and I think they're uh, going away a little bit now. And uh, this this was a good win, but now we got to move on to Cincinnati. They're a really good team. KJ, a lot of people chanting, uh, you know, this is our state at the end of the game. I mean, how much do you take pride in that fact that you win the in-state battle? I, I'm, I definitely take pride in it. And you, of course, you want to win for the fans. They're, they've been so great to us, especially this year. Been so patient uh, with our, with our um, youth um, and uh, our ups and downs. So we definitely just want to give back to them. They come and support our game. So it, it was just a giving back kind of thing. You mentioned your confidence in Kevin and Dominique. Uh, you know, what did you think of the job that Kevin did in his first career start? Oh, man, Kevin did a great job, especially um, I just told him that we don't need him to be timid. We need him to go out there and be aggressive and because uh, he has the ability to go out there and make things happen on the court. So uh, when, once he started doing that, uh, we, I think we just started playing better as a team. How much do you guys kind of feed off of him when he's succeeding? I mean, he's not necessarily the most athletic guy, but he really gives it his all. Uh, when, when you see him out there, you just know the hard work that he puts into it. Um, he, he's the hardest working guy in the gym, and uh, you, you just like to see guys like that succeed. So just to come out there and see, see him be successful, it was, it was a great feeling. There's like four and a half minutes left. You hit that three in the corner. I think you gave you guys like a 16, 17 point lead. You did a dance on the way back down the court. I was wondering if you could uh, break that down. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't even know what I did. I think I was in kind of like a little trance, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, please don't. Uh, but yeah, I was I was just stuck in the game. It was a real emotional game, like I said. And uh, I'm just glad we were coming out. Yeah, yeah, it's just emotion coming out. And I'm just glad that uh, we were on the winning side this year. Do you know you're dominating a game like that, though, when that happens, when you have a stretch like you did there? I mean, yeah, you, I mean, you, feel, I mean, you feel real good about um, your team and and uh, how we're, how we're um, handling their pressure and guarding and rebounding. So you, you definitely just have that good feeling ab about yourself. And just to hit a shot like that, it was just a, a big, big confidence. Okay, so you 